Hey guys, Mohan Pobert here and today I want to share with you a business buying case study from one of my clients, Ben, who bought a business doing 1.3 million in sales and I want to share with you how you can do that step by step if you have an existing business and want to grow it by acquisitions by buying your competitors or other complementary businesses in your sector or similar sectors or if you don't have a business yet, you can do the same and get the same results by basically making the acquisition, your first business. So I want to share with you that process. I want to share with you, especially on what's possible in terms of money and how to find professional managers from what money to find those professional managers. So you get to a point where you can then step back and have someone else running the day to day for you. And then you can either go out there, buy more businesses or I guess step back and have a cool lifestyle. And I guess what I like about this idea of buying businesses is that you can be the visionary, the strategic guy, the person who's involved and making decisions on high level decision, on the vision, mostly while someone else is running the repeatable, boring day to day, in my opinion, task. So that's what I want to share with you today. If you don't know me yet, um, for a second, my name is Moan Pobera. I've been in, involved in multiple businesses over the last 10 years. Right now with Wikix, we're mostly involved in the tech space in terms of buying, selling, raising capital, mostly in the deep VC type sector. So AI, artificial intelligence, SaaS companies, marketplace companies, so that's kind of like my main sector, what I know the most about. At the same time, we're also doing roll-ups and I'm helping clients in pretty much any sector you can think of, like the boring sectors like engineering, IT, construction, and we're helping people buy companies there. And me personally with Pober Holdings, we're also working on doing roll-ups, which is basically bringing companies together and selling them as a group at once, basically as one company. We're working on the UK, US right now on those roll-ups, which basically if you want to watch, watch my other videos on reverse exit on how we do that. We bring a few companies together, we bring a buyer, we sell the group as once and then we take a percentage from everything. And that's pretty, pretty cool. But today I especially want to get into the details on how you can buy those businesses and where exactly you take the money in each of the steps when you buy those businesses. And that's based on a case study of one of my clients. So we're talking about a business doing 1.3 million in sales. 200,000 in profit. And that's the first thing that people who don't know much about business. They think that sales is profit or sales is the amount of money that you're going to take home. And they don't assume expenses. They don't assume um, taxes. And I guess for those of you guys who don't have experience, those are the kind of numbers we're talking about. It depends on the industry. I mean, many businesses are even doing less in profit. This is pretty good profit margins, right? And that's what I don't like about people out there teaching about starting Shopify businesses or Amazon businesses and they're telling you that you'll make 30 grand a month within 20 days. But they're talking about revenues, sales, right? They're not talking about profits that you're taking home. And that's the first thing. When I'm telling you that the business is doing 1.3 million, always ask someone, are you talking sales, revenues, uh, gross? What, what are you talking about? Or are you talking profits, EBITDA, earning before interest tax? EBITDA, if you don't know, it's basically pre-tax profit. How much money the business is making after all expenses before taxes. Pretty much, just to keep it in a, in a not overwhelming way. If you want to get into the details, maybe we'll do another video on just accounting and understanding more terms about businesses. And if you want, if you want those things, let me know in the comments below and I'll potentially do videos on that. So this uh, video is mostly focused on the numbers, on where you make money, what stage of the deal you're making money. So let me walk you through that. So in this business specifically, so we're talking about my client took $100,000 in closing fee. Now, people ask, how do you take money at closing when you buy a business? And the answer is that for many of those businesses that you're looking to buy, you need to pay money for those businesses. But it's, it's not have to be your money. You can raise that money from other people, money from financial institutions, from financial partners. And what happens is that you negotiate with the seller some kind of a, a, an amount of closing payment. And then the rest of it is usually deferred over a period of time, usually a few years, three to five to seven years of payment. And the beauty is that the business cash flow can pay back that debt service over time. But you need to come up with some closing payment to the seller. But the beauty is that if you raised capital, sometimes let's say you need to pay $100,000 at closing, but you were able to raise $200,000. That's how people can take closing fee of around $100,000 at closing. And that's how people from day one of buying a business, they can take some fee because after all expenses for accountants, lawyers, other advisors, and all the capital that they raised and pay for the seller, they can take, take some money home just for doing the work, for doing the deal. It's very common that if you raised enough capital, you take some money home for, I guess, rewarding yourself for closing the deal, right? So that's the first field that he took. 
Then the question is, how much money is he taking while owning the business? And those are a few options that people have, right? So first of all, is manager salary. And then it can be owner salary or dividends. So those are kind of like few options to take money while owning the business. So basically there, there are three, uh, I guess, stages where you can take money when you buy a business. So the first step is like we said, closing fee. We already talked about it. That's assuming that we raised more capital than we need to pay for the seller at closing. The rest of it we can take home or you can keep it in the business to continue to grow it with investing more in marketing, sales, employees, stuff like that. It's up to you. It's your business. You, you, you make the decision. Then when you own the business, there are a few different options. And now it depends on how much money is left in the business. So if there's a manager sell, it means that you need to make the decision. Do you want to run the business or not? Right? If you want to run the business day to day, you can also take a manager salary because you bought the business from someone and that someone usually, at least after a transition period, won't work in that business anymore. Someone need to run the day-to-day -day business and he will get a salary for that. It can be you or you can use that salary to hire a different professional manager to run the date for you. So it's up to you if you want you to run the business or you want someone else. If it's you, you also take a manager salary, which can be around 75 grand, obviously depend. Depend on the industry, depend on the side of the business. If it's a bigger business, you can get your salary up to 250,000 a year. More than that, it's just not worth it in terms of taxes usually. I'm not an accountant to give you those advice, but that's kind of like the numbers that I'm seeing usually. What about owner salary or dividends? So if you're not running the day-to-day, -day, and me personally, I don't want to run a day-to-day -day of a business. I think it's uh, boring. I think it's reputable. But then if there's enough cash flow, you can take owner salary or dividends. So you just pay yourself like an employee, but you're the owner. You don't, you're not really need to go there. Or you take dividends in the end of the year or quarterly or something like that, right? And it's up to you if there's enough money or if you don't want to take dividends or owner salary, you just keep the money in the business because you just plan to grow it. It's up to you. You make the decision. Do you want to, I guess, in, reinvest the money into more growth of the business or do you want to take the money right now and enjoy it right now in the short term? Up to you. So that's the other option. So we said manager salary if you're running the day-to-day. -day. Owner salary dividends can be, it's up to you how you take that money in terms of uh, just talk to your tax advisor. There are different ways you can take consultancy fees or dividends or salaries. It's up to you. Just talk to your advisors. There are different ways to take money out of the business to make it tax efficient for you. And everyone with their situation, whatever their, their business is registered. So you, you check it with your guy. And then, so it's basically, so this is, like we said, this is one, this is two, and this is three. Three stages of making money from business, right? So first one is when we buy the business, we, take, we can take some money home if we raised enough capital. Second is while owning that business and try to grow it. So if you run the day-to-day, -day, you can take a salary. If you don't want to run the day-to-day -day and there's enough cash flow, you can take some owner dividends or salaries. And then the third option, which is kind of like the most lucrative one, is the exit. So let's say we raised some capital, we, we bought the business, we run it for a few years, we pay back the debt service that took us to raise the capital to have this. And after two, three, one, whatever payments terms you have, you have a business doing, hopefully right now it's doing more, right? Because you worked for three years to grow this business. Depends on how hard you work, how much you reinvest the money, how good are your employees. Let's say you grew your business right now to 300,000, right? Without going crazy. In three years, possible, yeah. Maybe a little bit up, a little bit less, a little bit more, a little bit less. Obviously, it depends on what's going on with the business. So assuming you're now making 300,000, you have no debt because you paid it over a few years using that, the money that you're making from this profit, right? You pay that over time, the debt that you raised here. Now you have a business doing $300,000 in profit that you can sell if you want. And that's where you can have capital events and that's where you can bring in a few million dollars in cash into your bank account in one day. Why? Because at this stage, Again, really depends on the industry. If you're bringing me this business in the text, in, in a boring space, it can be three times multiples for your EBITDA. It can be five times multiples that someone will pay you. In the tech space, give me a business like this with a good technology, we can sell it for 10 times revenues sometimes, right? 
So it really, really depends on your sector and industry. I mean, heck, in the tech space, we can sell this for 10, 20 million sometimes. In boring sector, potentially we will get 1.5 million, right? And that's the third, the third stage. The exit, where someone can take money at exit as well. So there are three stages, right? To summarize this video, one of them is how much money you make when you just, you just bought the business, how much money you can, you can take from day one, from now on in the business, just to give yourself some kind of a fee for doing the work, negotiating, finding the deal, potentially uh, originating, just your, paying for your time. I think it's worth it, right? Second is how much money you're making while owning the business. And the third is how much money you can make at exit. If those numbers are not looking lucrative for you, then I don't know, maybe go and uh, start a Shopify business, right? It's up, it's up to you. But you won't make those. I mean, again, I want you to be skeptic about what numbers people promise to you. If someone's promising you 30 grand within 20 days, first of all, is it possible? Perhaps. If you're working hard enough, perhaps. Are you getting this all in profit? No. You're getting, you really need to understand there's a different, big difference between revenues and profits. And that's what you need to understand. And that's why when we're going to existing businesses, we're talking about businesses doing at least a million a year in sales, we're talking about revenues. Profits, you'll take less, but that's, the beauty is that with such a business, you have sometimes enough cash flow to hire professional managers to run the day-to-day -day for you. So you can then step back and like I said, have the lifestyle to just chill if you want. Or in my opinion, being too chill for too long will be too boring. Like I said, many times there, there's only so many pina coladas you can drink and then you'll want to do something. So you want to do something and then you now have the time to go and buy other businesses if you want. And that's what I want to share with you, kind of like how that works, how are you doing it right now, how some of my students are doing that and buying one, two, three businesses in less than a year. I have people who work with me, clients who bought 30 plus businesses. I have one who bought seven businesses. Is it easy? No. Is it simple? Yes. And I think there's never been a better time to buy a business like right now with all the baby boomers out there looking to retire or looking to exit. This is the best time to own a business. If there's someone on the other side who is committed, who have the right strategy to follow, who have the right accountability and support and the right team, the right financial uh, support as well. That's how you can build business, buy businesses. That's how you can build yourself wealth and lifestyle and become free financially and emotionally. Because I think when you have enough money and time, I mean, that, that's where you can go and, and meditate all day if you want and become happy as well. So those are my thoughts with you. If you want to learn more in depth on how the process looks like, A to Z, on how to find those businesses, how to analyze those deals, how to negotiate with those companies, how to make offers, raise capital, close those deals, bring in a team to help you close those deals with advisors, how to then grow those businesses, then we're going to put links before, below this video on a free training that I'm holding. So see, see somewhere below this video, check this free training. I put tons of free content on all social media that you can go out there and start to implement. But then if you want to take things to the next level and you're really committed to invest in yourself and you want the advice, you want the support, you are coachable, you are resourceful, you're not making excuses and you're 100% committed. I'm not talking about people who are just thinking that this is something cool. I'm thinking, talking about people who see the opportunity, who understand that every day that goes by and they're not buying at least 1.3 million business, that's $1.3 million poor that they are right now every day that go by and they're not buying at least one business like that. If you want to really take things to the next level, maybe my inner circle and my mentorship program can work for you. And then you can go to, so if you're watching until now, go to moranpober.com forward slash talk and see the results, see what's possible, see what results, what companies my, my clients are buying. See what's possible for you if you're 100% committed. And then if you're willing to invest in yourself, perhaps you can work with us and we can see, just go apply and we'll see if it's a fit for you. If it is, we'll tell you and show you how and what's the next steps. If not, we'll try to steer you to someone else to help you. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you got some value. I hope you understand now how you can make money. And the beauty is that one deal like that is all you need to become financially free. I mean, one business doing $200,000 in profit, you taking home seventy, dollars $100,000 a year doing nothing because someone else is running the day-to-day -day for you. How many businesses like this do you need? One, two, I mean, if you want even crazier lifestyle, maybe a little bit more, and you can do that because you now have the time to buy more businesses. So I hope you enjoyed it and got some value. If you like it, let me know in the comments below what you think, like this video, share it with someone who can get some value from this. Because I think if more people will, knew, will know about this, I mean, it's just gonna be better for everyone because you can then 
grow faster and become a better entrepreneur and then give back and help uh, like I'm trying to do here. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys, and I'll see you soon.